Every animal has a story. The only way many survive is to migrate. But our obstacles are making it harder. And threatening the future of migrations. The American West is home to nine species of migratory ungulates. Mule deer. Bighorn sheep. Moose. Bison. Pronghorn. Elk. White-tailed deer. Mountain goat and caribou. Barriers are common across these big landscapes. But new conservation tools are helping wildlife professionals map migrations. These detailed GPS data are leading to creative solutions to help animals move freely in a world where barriers abound. These are the top barriers of migration. Number one, fences. Migrating animals confront dozens of fences. Young animals must learn how to cross. Elk can break their necks jumping over fences. Luckily, not this time. Pronghorn almost always go under fences. But some fence designs make that nearly impossible. Number two, roads. Animals and roads don't mix well. Roadways can restrict access to critical habitats and are perilous to cross. Collisions with big game are on the rise in many Western states. The result is a threat to wildlife and humans. Number three, housing and energy development. Growth in the American West reduces habitat for wildlife. As we develop our resources and economy, landscapes often become fragmented. Animals may speed up through disturbances, or detour entirely, avoiding preferred habitats. Over time, populations decline and migrations can be lost. But there are solutions to these barriers. Wildlife-friendly fences are easier and safer to cross.
Landowners also help out by opening gates during migration season. GPS data of migrations help identify problem fences. Every year, miles of fencing are improved on private and public lands. But more partnerships are needed to ensure animals have the freedom to roam. Wildlife crossings are highly effective at reducing collisions with vehicles. Migration maps help identify where crossing structures can best reduce collisions. Across Western states, public support is growing for building more crossing structures. These crossing structures keep people and wildlife safe. Detailed maps of migration corridors can help plan for mitigation and protect sensitive areas for migrating wildlife through habitat management areas and conservation easements. These protected areas often benefit not only wildlife, but ranching, recreation, and tourism. Migrations in the American West depend on connected landscapes. Many of these lands have been stewarded by tribal nations, landowners, and hunters for generations. Wildlife managers in western states are extensively mapping migrations on both public and working lands. These maps enhance collaborations among stakeholders to help migrations persist. The American West is a great example of how seriously barriers can impact migrations and ways modern technology can lead to effective solutions. These challenges are not unique to migrations of the Western U.S. Wildlife professionals worldwide are mapping migrations and sharing conservation ideas. They are finding many common barriers. in sharing effective solutions. From the American West to continents across the globe, One thing is certain for the future of ungulate migrations.
the greatest solution to migration barriers is people working together. Only then will wild migrations thrive for generations to come.